should get going. <laughs> Wasn't that a romantic kiss, though? So, to cover what we last left off, um, we had our, our characters went on a date. Well, uh, Shinjiro went on a date with Jiminy. It went well. I did have to save Scum it a little bit, or rather start it over, um, due to a minor issue with not ha with um, controller input. But we're, we're all good, and now we are having our concert of the uh, Lip Theater's Concert in Central Park. I believe I got the save in before the concert. All right. Okay. All right. Yep. <clears throat> yep. We're going to have a full house for tonight's Christmas special. Okay, so we saw some of the rehearsals done for this, and it's kind of... Okay. Aren't you excited, Shiny? There's like a million people watching us. Uh, okay. Subaru's not sure there are even a million people in New York. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> We're just that popular, man. We gotta live up to the hype. A one-shot musical production. It's now or never. Oh, I'm so nervous. Fear not, Diana. I am here with you, so everything will be fine. <laughs> Thank you, Rosita. Help me out if I make a mistake, okay? All right, everyone. Get into costume and head on stage. Yes, ma'am. You know, I just noticed that the click hit me. There is no, there is no real backstage set up for the production here. Um, it is theater in the round. Merry Christmas, everyone. Are we having fun yet? We'd like to thank you all for coming out to our Christmas special tonight. Tonight's play is entitled Over the Rainbow. Okay. Let's get down to business. It yeah, stars. Okay, so this is the dreams of children everywhere are kept within Okay, this 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 is different. The, the, the lip syncing great, I wanna say. Uh, I gotta actually muting the television on my end because the, the lip the, the flashing between the lip sync and the dialogue is not working for me. Also, we're doing like lots of Cirque du Soleil style, not Cirque du Soleil style, because it's not Cirque du, Cirque du Soleil didn't exist yet. We're doing lots of high acrobatics here, which is also new for the group. And I'm not sure what to think about that. In terms of that decision. Because, like, 
Like, has the... any of the, um... of the, uh... Sakura Zuka review performances involves heavy acrobatics. I mean... Okay, like... And I have no idea what the actual narrative of this is actually supposed to be, because all the other performances of Sabar have been conventional narrative plays. Or, uh, or musicals in some, uh, some manner or another. So, that's... Okay. Had a cat on the ottoman before, but now I can... And then the cat came on me. Oh, got on me. So now I have the ottoman available. Alright. Like, I don't understand it, and I'm really liking bits and pieces of it. But, yeah. Like, I'm assuming they're making a, like... I uh, don't know. That's a big cake for a, like, relatively small cast, or number of people. Um, we got the five members of the review, plus Sunnyside, and, uh, and, um, uh, Shinjiro. Jerry and Henry. And then... Ratchet. That's ten. Um... There is the... Whose name just fell in my head. The, the mechanical designer for... Or, Gear, basically, the, the, the gear designer for um, Combat Review which pops in every now and then, so that's 11. Um, there is the Sir Not Appearing in This Game choreographer character, who only shows up in the live stage shows. So there were live stage shows for this. 12. Apparently, Shade is under 21. I mean... Actually, it shouldn't just be for me. It's like Rosita should also be under. Should also not be having any of the uh, <laughs> of the alcoholic champagne. All right. <laughs> there's lightweight. Uh, there, there, there's being a lightweight. There's really being a lightweight, and then there's drunk on non-alcoholic, uh, uh, non-alcoholic um, beverages. When Subaru is is saying you need to ease off and relax, that's saying something. It's saying that she was very stiff for the first 
oh six act chapters of the game. Oh. All right. Okay. Alright, so the, the guide said that would give a big boost for everyone, or, or a, a boost for one than a big boost for uh, Ratchet, but uh, barely seemed to be less, so that's okay. Alright. So it's a random gift exchange. I'm going to do the keech. Since that's the nice thing I got. Okay, so, now, I'm curious, because I keep getting into, okay, when certain pieces of music were composed, when was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Ranger um, written? Because that's the piece used there. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Alright, Johnny Marks. The, comp you know, the composer, 1949 is when it was released, so we are breaking the timeline, doubly so because the story it was based on, which was a, um, yeah, the story it was based on was um, published in 1939 when we were like around 1935. Okay, so, and, let's see, so, Red Story was by Johnny Marks, the original recording was, night, the recording was by Gene Autry, huh? Yep, all right, so who did I get? From I got. Yep, that would be from. Um, ha ha. Jiminy. Yeah, that that's honestly not a bad thing to go with. Um. I mean, it's a, it is a really heartfelt gift, so, yep. Yeah. I'm not getting the charm, the chimes for, um, reputation gains. Huh. I'm gonna check an audio setting, because it might be I'm not getting them. Give me a second. Go back to direct sound.
That was weird. Ah! So it looks like the, the gift basically likely goes to whoever your um, main romantic interest is at this point, or your, your top reputation person, as opposed to it being random. All right. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this game came up with these, um, your David in the chat. This game came out in for the PlayStation 2. Um, there's a new game in the series that is coming out for PlayStation 4 in, and to come out end of the month. Um, I don't know if any of these games ever got a three, ever got a DS release. Um, well, this game did get a Wii release. Um, All right. All right. Ooh. Okay. through a dream. Should a man granted the gift of life exist without having to suffer the pain of death? Yeah, this is a, um, for those who are just tuning in, this game is a hybrid visual novel and tactical RPG. Um, we'll have the tactical stuff later. Now, my this is actually, now that I think of it, one of like the few like early visual novels to get a home console release. We got a few more of them later in the PS3 era and now in the PS4, as well as for handheld consoles like the uh, um, GBA, DS, and um, ESP and Vita. But actually, now that I think, I seriously think about it, outside of, say, Phoenix Wright, we really haven't gotten that many visual novel games like this on consoles since, like, maybe... Princess Tomato and the uh, U.S. console releases. Things like Princess Tomato and the Salad Kingdom back in the uh, NES era. And usually the ones that we get are hybrid releases like this one, where it's not just visual novel content, there's also a combat element of some variety or another. Like Utawari Rumono, which is what I'm playing right now in my own time. Uh, those games have a heavy technical RPG element. Not heavy, but a moderate. The yep. Inspired by Kokuyo, the wealth collected by Dokurobo. The insect hymn sung by Yumeidono. The tainted spirit summoned by Tsugarubi. Yeah, we should have taken her out when we had her beaten the last chapter. Letting her go was perhaps a mistake. Was a mistake. And the demon blade that holds within it our Lord's ambition. Finally, we arrive at the moment of his rebirth. And in case you had figured out from seeing his portrait earlier, it, it's, it's Oda Nobunaga.
Well, that's bad times. And in the uh, Twitch chat, we have um. Peasants. So, Demon City, Manhattan. So Nobunaga has finally reappeared. That must be the Demon Castle Azuchi. <laughs> Imagine my surprise to discover that the prophesied Demon Lord was Japanese. Yeah, like that is like the bet. Uh, we've had some animated cutscenes before this, but that is the best we've had thus far. Um. <laughs> well, I mean, we had inklings of a p vague possible suggestion that this was going to happen, but, like, we weren't expecting this flashy. Uh. Well, in a way, it was mentioned in Gemini's Book of Five Rings. Uh. And in a book I obtained myself called Il Million. You know, I know we got the Sakura Wars characters, including Gemini, in um, the, the the Namco Capcom um, crossover game, uh, strategy game on the uh, DS and GBA. The name just escapes me. But I would like to have, love to see Sakura, really since Sakura Wars has a significant anime element as well. I would love to see Skrull Wars make it in a Super Robot Wars game. They both have a passage that reads, The Demon Lord seeks the city that never sleeps. That, of course, means New York and Nobunaga, Lord of the Sixth Heaven, some call him. Okay. So you did have it. <laughs> the New York Public Library said it had been checked out by someone who had never returned it and had a really massive, um, uh, like a really massive library fine. And that they were going to put a permanent hold on his on their card for, for checking it out. Oh, yes, um, that's why... Uh, Ratchet, I checked it out under your card, not mine. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but I had to keep it safe. Last time you went to Japan, I had it smuggled back with you. Didn't notice, huh? Why didn't you just tell me about it? I got, got arrested for book smuggling! Because I know how much you hate all that occult stuff. Yes, but you also could have gotten me arrested, so <laughs> cut it. I'm kind of wondering now, putting in the context of the modern timeline, like this came out in two. Wait, no, yeah, this we would have gotten several of the uh, Onimusha games by this point. Um. Sunnyside, Ratchet, we gotta do something about this. New York. 
York's in big trouble. So yeah, this game would have come out and in like peak. We're gonna have Oda Nobunaga as the bad guy, uh, as like actual demon Oda Nobunaga. I know. Cherry, Ami, can you get a reading on it? Of course. We're reviewing the data right now. Power level. It's over nine thousand. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. Azuchi Castle has emerged near the center of Manhattan and stabilized itself. Dark Numa levels unknown. Composition unknown. It's affecting space time itself. This is very similar to energy readings recorded near Tokyo in 1924. I'm assuming that's referring to the first Sakura Wars game? I see. So a gate to the demon world has opened once again. First Tokyo, then Paris, and now here. It seems they prefer large urban centers. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have screw yeah, so Okay. New York is the largest metropolis in the world, so it must have the greatest energy. Um at this point, historically, does it? Like, I mean... Paris is pretty big, but they've already done the one for a previous game. Wouldn't London... Be, like, equal at this point? But I think we can handle this threat if we act quickly. All right. Jin. Have you ever heard of something called the Five Ring Mandala? Safe answer, no. It's a rune used to seal away evil energy. Only the Five Ring Warriors can use it. Allow me to explain in a little more detail. When the Five Ring Warriors arrange themselves properly and form a mandala, the Demon Lord will be sealed away once again. Or so it is said. They say this is how Nobunaga and mid-level Demon were sealed away in their evil Japan. They also said something about a samurai who looked a lot like Ryuhei Kitamura fighting him with a demon katana, but that 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 that's an that sounds like an entirely different game series, so. And Mr. Sunnyside has gathered the Five Ring Warriors to seal him away once again. That's right. You'll lead the Five Ring Warriors to Nobunaga at the top of Azuchi Castle. Do you think you can do that? Well, we don't really got a choice. So, Glad yeah. to hear it. Everything so far has gone according to plan. That's not necessarily a cheerful sentiment. New York Combat Review Star Division. It's showtime! Star Division, we're on! Yes, sir! I am very close to the end. This is this isn't the last chapter. This is the second to last chapter, or midway through that. There are edited versions of the episodes into nice, reasonable, like half-hour episode episodic-sized chunks on the YouTube channel as a let's play. I need to actually make sure to put the playlist on the front of my page to make it easier to find. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. 
uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 